Hi friends, in Microsoft Excel, let us create an attendance sheet using the checkbox. This particular video, we are planning to understand how the checkbox works. For this, I am going to the developer tab for inserting the checkbox. And if you are unable to see a developer tab on your main ribbon, just click on the top ribbon, customize the ribbon and here you will be having the option to check or uncheck the developer tab. Check it to see at the top of the ribbon. Go to the developer tab, insert and insert a checkbox. Okay. Assign it, place it wherever we need it. Okay. Now there is a checkbox one written as a test. You can edit it using the right click it and edit test. For this particular case, I don't want anything to be written as a test. I am removing it. Okay. Now you can see it. I am able to check it and uncheck it. I need this particular cell uh, checkbox for entire range. So I am going to select this, copying it for the all the students and the all the days. Okay. So this checkbox is available for me for all the student names and for all the days. Now. I need to assign this particular checkbox a particular cell or particular value to it. For this, I am right clicking it, format control. Now, since the checkbox is unchecked, so it is showing as, as an unchecked. And now I am placing it on a control cell link. Okay. And placing it on a, I am selecting the cell for this particular checkbox that is C2 and clicking OK. Now you can see that this particular checkbox has a value of true or false by this checkbox. Now for this one, I need to again for the second cell, I need to continue the same thing. Right clicking on the checkbox format cell. Now since this checkbox was already selected, it is showing it as check. Now I am linking the cell link to this particular cell and clicking it OK. So you can see that it is showing it as true or false. Now I need to continue to doing this for all the checkbox. Now if we have more students and more number of days, it will be a very tedious job linking the each checkbox with the particular cell. To, for doing this, we need to write a macro. Now right click on the sheet, view code, insert module and this is a particular code which is written for this particular checkboxes. Just I will be giving this code at the bottom of the video. Now save this. Now since this Excel is not macro enabled file, so it is asking us to save it as a macro enabled file. So click no. It will go to save as a type. Now here it is Excel macro enabled template. Select this and save this. It will asking for the replacement. Click yes and here our Excel sheet is now macro enabled. Now since we have written a macro, we need to run it. So click on view, macros, view macros. In this particular Excel workbook, I have only one macro written. So selecting that one and running it. You can see here. Now all the checkbox are assigned with the particular cells. See here. Okay. Now here I need to count how many students are present to the on this particular on this particular days. What is the students attendance? So click here. Count with bracket open. First, we have to write equal to count if bracket open. It will be asking me the range. So I am selecting the range here and it is asking me comma. So inserting a comma. Now I need to give a criteria in the quotes. Now what is the criteria? True or false. So for checking, I want to know the present number of present. So I will be writing it as true. Quotes close, bracket close and enter. Now for this particular 
name one student is present on two days it is showing it as two now if i check this it will be changing the values automatically now i am dragging this for all the other students so it gets changed automatically now similarly we can do it for absent also first equal to count with bracket open i need to select the range comma in the quotes now false since i am going for the absentee students bracket close enter drag it for the all the students so we can get total present and total absent so this is the usefulness of the checkbox it looks awesome when we take a printout now even this checkbox we can go for the 3d okay now you can see here this particular checkbox of the student name to on this particular date how the checkbox looks like with the shadow with the 3d in the printout the true and false appearing will doesn't look good so we need to make it invisible so select this go to home select it as white so this particular true and false is also gone for us so this looks very good in when we take a printout